Hey YouTube, it is Rob, and I'm doing some more MTG testing. Um, I recently won a daily with my 8 rack, which I'm really happy about, so uh, go ahead and thumbs up for that, please. Um, what I want to do right now is to show you, or to try out and test, a uh, guy, it's actually a mod on the MTGS uh, forums. MTGS is probably the best site to go for, uh, you know, uh, magic strategy and discussion. Uh, so if you're not on that and you're watching these videos somehow, you need to go ahead and go there. It's Magic the Gathering Salvation. It's the, you know, you get all strategy all the time for any format you're interested in. So uh, with that said, uh, I've been um, against having red in you white control shells um, for a long time but uh, one of the mods there made the claim that he thought that this was the most consistently powerful core um, in modern which I think is a very bold claim uh, so I made his list verbatim this is exa the exact list not one card different let me see if he put a uh, sideboard he did put a sideboard um, let me go ahead and Let's see, I think I have all those. I think I have all of those. I don't know about combust. I guess I could use a uh, sudden. No, I wouldn't be able to use sudden shock for that because combust is for uh, splinter twins. So let me. Um, all right, let me throw this in there. He's got an engineered explosives. Let's see what else he's got. Wear and tear. Um, celestial purge. I think I have wear and tears. Yep. He's got two of those. Those are cool. They are great. If you if you're um you know, if you have access to red and white in your deck, they're strictly superior to disenchant, um, if that's what you're looking for. So that's kind of nice. Um, let's see here. Uh, doo -doo -doo, combust, that's one. I'm not sure if I have those. No, I don't have those. Alright, well, this takes me a second here. That's what I love about MTGO. Make it happen here. set ever. I always just get the full play sets of stuff when I don't have it and look things like in my play. If it's just six cents each anyway. Alright, now I have combusts. Easy as that. Gotta love MTGO. Alright, so I got combusts. Let's see. Stony Silence, Haven Mind Sensor. in the wrong spot. Oopsies. Screwing up here. That goes there. Even mind sensor goes over there. I put something else in my desk. Oh, the stony silence list goes over there. Kind of a mismatch. I don't like all that. Like, kind of like just, you know, I like, you know, four ofs of whatever the hell it is I'm trying to um, side against, but that's just person personal preference, I guess. We got counterforce, timely reinforcements, or counterflux. Right away, uh, one thing that I would do differently from what he's got here in his deck is he's using mana leak. I would, if I had red and blue in my blue white, I would definitely use uh, Is It Charm. I think Is It Charm is fantastic. And uh, this is the only card, honest to God, the only card that I want to uh, splash red for is Is It Charm in my blue and white deck. Um, because it's just it's such a versatile 2cc, and everything else at 2cc for blue, I think it's garbage. Remand is kind of good, but not 
in a control deck like I'm like I'm trying to play the long game and this is more for a deck like this like he's got here which is just trying to out tempo and then you know beat him mid range so it makes a lot of sense here not so much in mine Th that leaves me with mana leak only uh, really as my sort of generic catch all thing but this doesn't scale late either which is my big problem with it I'm trying to go late and this doesn't scale late um, so you know I was thinking about negates and all these other things but uh, is it charm scales early and late it's great um, alright anyway back to my thing here the last thing I put in was counterflux I guess I need timely reinforcements sowing salt and supreme verdict how many timely just one you see it's weird it's just got these random things in there like one random timely reinforcements. What are you citing that in for? You know, I, I just don't get it. Supreme. All right, so I had nearly everything except for a couple comments that he had in there. That's one nice thing about having a nice collection. Uh, an MTGO, you can use them in over and over in any decks. All right, so what's it bitching at me for now? What did I use two? There's only one Supreme Verdict, okay. Alright, there we go. It's saved. Let's see how is it for here. Oh, it's not in my collection. More cards. Uh, it's kind of a bug. That is a bug. Start the program. Does it let me play with it? Sometimes it does. Nope. Yeah, it's because I threw that one thing in there. I threw one card in that I didn't own on accident. Now it needs to restart to catch it. Alright, sorry about the delay. Hopefully anybody <coughs> watching this would have probably skipped over the part where I was adding the uh, um, cards to the sideboard. Um, but uh, I'll leave this part in. I won't cut it out just because I think I was, you know, when I was talking about the... Uh, advantages to um, playing blue-white versus blue-white-red. What I think is the main advantage to playing blue-white is you give yourself a long game, whereas, uh, let's make sure you picked it up, see, it picked it up now. Um, you give yourself a long game, you give yourself a late game, whereas uh, this deck that I'm playing right now doesn't have a great late game. Uh, Alright, so... We'll play some stuff and we'll just uh, see how it goes. Uh, th so why do you want a late game? Well, let's think about what we're going to be facing in the mid-range game. This is definitely, there is no question about it, that this is a mid-range uh, deck. He, he wants to win in the mid-game. He's got a ton of burn. He wants to burn, Snapcaster burn, and smack him with a few little guys uh, here and there, some flash critters. Um, you know, he wants to beat him before it gets too far into it. Um, now, why would that be bad? Well, because you're facing the deck that is the uh, literally the best deck in modern since the creation of modern. Um, it, that's that lives in that area, and that's Jund. So, that that's my main fear of it. Like, I, I wouldn't want to try and fight Jund mid range. I would want to drag either beat him early. Like, bur like burn does, they burn them out early, or you drag them into the late game and you beat them there. That that would be my strategy. I wouldn't try and beat them in their own game, but uh, that's just me. I wish they had these um, little things where you could right click. Like in the old client, that's one tiny little thing. You could right click on the text and then say a bunch of stuff like hello and good luck, like he did there. I have to type it out. Um, okay. I don't know what he's doing here. Green and white. Maybe a pot. I 
haven't seen pot in a while. It's really fallen out of popularity. It looks like a hay horse. Also, in my opinion, uses way too much land. He's got 25 lands for a mid-range. That's a that's like a late game control amount of lands, in my opinion. But uh, like I said, I give I'll give him a fair shot. Uh, I make it verbatim. Snapcaster a uh, Quasali, which is cool. I can flash in a Restoration Angel and kill that thing, which is cool too. I, I, could, I could Snapcaster a path to kill the Quasali, is what I meant to say there. Sorry, guys. Um, you know what? In this. I'm gonna take the damage here, I think. Well, I'll tell you what, I'm gonna, I'll flash in my click, look at his hand, and then we'll have a better idea of what I need to do. He just rage quit. He just rage quit. Well, okay, so game one, rage quit. Uh, damn, I wanted to sh see the the whole thing out there, but um, yeah, it's pretty good against against hate bears. Um, I could have flashed that in and killed the um, pride mage and stuff. Um, okay, well, n none of the cards I cast were even red, but, um, alright, so moving on, uh, we'll just look at the next video, I guess this will just be, I'll just list this in the, in YouTube as sort of the brewing of it, and just put it together, really, I barely even got to play it, alright, thanks for watching, try and thumbs up, if you don't mind, guys, or post a little comment, like, even if it's just like, you know, good job, GJ. Um, you know, anything like that, because the comments on, any kind of comments on my channel, they sort of add up, and uh, it just gets me better when I get searched for, when people search for magic stuff or whatever. Alright, later. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Bye.